Hello, oh my god. <laughs> I hope you guys had a great Christmas and I'm sorry I didn't end up continuing doing Vlogmas at all. I just ended up giving myself a self-declared holiday. I kind of mentioned it on my Instagram. I was just chilling. I learned how to make those like shrimp dumplings. You know, you always order at the dim sum places. I finished five seasons of Orphan Black and I've also done some decluttering. I said I was gonna do a, like a filming thing but I was kind of sick at the same time. I didn't want to like exacerbate like the sore throat and everything. I ended up decluttering a bunch of stuff. A lot of the things, especially makeup, they're mostly like only swatched or with some of the skincare items, I have a lot of backups. These are things that deserve a better home and it also helps me out because sometimes, like when you have three of the same product, you're like, huh? And I just want my space to be decluttered. So today we are gonna go through all of these things. I kind of mentioned it in the wardrobe declutter. I want to do like a grab bag situation. So I might put these into separate grab bags and I'm gonna like have a Google form so that people can tell me like whether they wear makeup, what kind of makeup they wear, what kind of skin they have, whether they want clothes or anything like that. And then I can personalize a gift bag for you. That would be $25 per bag for a value of at least $75 and above. And should we do makeup or skincare first? Let's do makeup just because makeup is exciting. I guess this is in a way a haul for you guys, like what y'all might get if you decide to get a grab bag. I'm going to include time frames in the video so if you don't wear makeup, you don't want makeup in your grab bag, you can just skip it. But it's pretty exciting because, you know, like makeup's fun. These are the palettes that I'm giving away. Unfortunately, I already did like a sweep once, like just I think four or five months ago and I kind of was giving away most of my makeup. If y'all see it on Instagram, y'all will remember that I was kind of in like my university just like sitting at the benches and being like, free makeup, take it. And a lot of you guys came to say hi, which was really, really great. But now I don't have school anymore. That's not an option. And I just want to maybe recoup a bit of my losses because I made a lot of stupid decisions. These two things, for example. So this is the e.l.f. 99 Neutral Eyeshadow. I wanted this so bad. I was like, oh my god, so many colors. I'll never like need another neutral palette in my life. But I've only ever I've swatched these like a couple of times. I do use like these two, this sometimes. I always feel very bad when I see it and I don't use it. This is from NYX, it's called the Box of Eyeshadows and it's as good as brand new, honestly. I think I've only swatched it like a couple of times. It's so cute! I kept them around because of these bright colours. I just knew that I really wanted to use them. And they do have some like very unique colours on the side and the lilac as well. But I've only swatched the top. And right now I also have a lot of like Colourpop eyeshadows and like bigger palettes that have a lot of these colours. So I was just like, okay. This is from L'Oreal. This is the La Palette Nude. And it's in the rose one. I actually used this exact palette for my like makeup for beginners tutorial that I did last year. It's a very nice, very neutral palette, but my problem is that I can never use just this palette. They have a lot of like mid-tone shades and the dark shades are not quite dark enough for me. But that's also me lah, someone with dramatic eyeshadow. So I feel like this would go great with someone who's a beginner, someone who is looking to have more like office appropriate makeup. Okay, now we're moving on to like face and cheek stuff. And I want to say again, please nobody scold me for being a hoarder. This is kind of what I do. Do, and this is my hobby in a lot of ways. Like you never scold a stamp collector for collecting stamps, right? So these are just things that either I have tried or are not my shade anymore or are not my style anymore or I have like different alternatives that I prefer. Just, just letting y'all know. Okay, like these things for example. This is the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation. I went to the PR event and they gave me three different shades. I kept the two shades that are closest to my skin tone which is two and three. So this is shade 1. This Kate Powdery Skin Maker in shade 2. I kept the other one. So I got sent in like different packages, like different PR packages. And I got the exact same one in shade 2. So this is completely unopened as well. Oh, sometimes I don't keep the packaging because it's very bulky. So yeah, some of the unopened stuff don't have packaging. I'm sorry. <laughs> BB Cushions, I have this Clio Nudism Water Grip Cushion in Ginger. I think this is like a 22 or a 21. 
I am usually like a 23, so this is too light for me. It's Medicube Red Cushion. Both of these cushions have SPF 50. Setting powders, I'm getting rid of my three bulkiest ones because I just don't reach for them. This is from 3W Clinic. This is a Korean brand. I used to use this all the time, like every single day. This one is in the shade 23, so it's like a light beige. And I got this after finishing the translucent one because I was like, oh, I need like my shade powder so it sets beautifully. And it is really, really beautiful. It's like a cult favourite. I just don't use it because it's so bulky. These two e.l.f. powders. This has SPF 45 sunscreen. And this is the HD powder. You can get it in transparent, you can get it in your shade, or you can get it in the banana shade. Which I got because I don't have banana powder. But I realised I don't even dare to use it because it's so bright yellow. And I don't like the packaging. It's a little bit messy. Just in my opinion. Because I took out the puff, right? The puff was just kind of unsanitary, so now it just kind of goes everywhere and I'm like, <laughs> this is just like a sheer universal shade, so I'm just gonna pass these on. This, this is the W Lab One Day Long Makeup Fixer. Pretty sure I got this in a box and I haven't really tried it. I don't really know if it works very well. I have two NYX bronzers here. This is a matte bronzer, so it's ideal for contouring. It's in shade 4. I also have this which is called Tribal Odyssey. It's like a bronzing powder with a little bit of blush. And it's very pretty, but it's very similar to one I already have. Again, from e.l.f., I think I'm just clearing a lot of stuff from e.l.f. Because you know with e.l.f., e.l.f. is like Colourpop. Everything is so affordable. I also went into the physical store when I was in New York last year. It was literally right next to school. Like it was, it was so, it was so bad. These are the All Over Colour Sticks. This is in a bronzer shade, and then this one is in a highlighter shade. The highlighter shade is Spotlight, the bronzer shade is Toasted. These came very highly recommended by a lot of beauty gurus on the YouTube, so they made me buy it and I was like, so. From the Etude House line, I bought these online so I didn't swatch them. These are the Big Cover Concealer Cushion and Concealer Stick. They're just like a little bit too light for me. If you're a shade 21 in Korean foundation, then I guess it's for you. These are the highly popular LA Girl Pro Conceals. These are in the shades Natural and Porcelain. Natural is a backup, why? Not even done with that yet and porcelain is just way too light for me. I thought I wanted to use it as a highlight but I don't think it's happening. Another e.l.f. product, a baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearl. This is the Mineral Blusher from Innisfree in number 2. Bright pink. It's just, yeah, barely swatched. I don't know, I just I never go for bright blush. Today I'm already wearing an orange blush and I'm like, wow! Now we're moving on to eyes and lips. I'm gonna go through more eyes first. I think it's a dupe for the Benefit Browsings, but honestly, it's just like barely used ever. Mascara, these are all either just open to see the wand or not even open at all. This one is sealed. This is the Magnum from Maybelline and this was like the second ever mascara that I bought. You know, this is not the same one I bought like six years ago but this was just like a nostalgic thing and I always thought that this made my lashes very nice. I don't know, for me it was like the moment I ran out of something or like I had to replace or throw it away because it had such nostalgic value, I would just buy another one and put it there. This just kind of did that but I really, I didn't even open it so I should pass it on. Kate Black Lash Maximizer. I think I have too many mascaras and I always have eyelash extensions so I don't even end up using the ones that I have. This is the Elf Volumizing and Defining Mascara. This is the Falsies Big Eyes, also never open. And this is the Majolica Majorca. And now moving on to lips, I have two of the Ultra Matte Lips. This is in Beeper and this is in Stingray. Beeper is very similar to Frick and Frack, which is an ultra satin lip, which is a formula I prefer. And Stingray is just a little bit too cool tone for me. Tool is remarkably similar and a little bit warmer, so it matches me better. These lippy sticks are in Tootsie and Contempo. Contempo is just a little bit too cool toned pink for me. And then Tootsie is like a greyish. These are two Maybelline lip gradations. They are like very bright colours and you can basically use them like a little crayon, like this. You draw them on and then you can blend them out. And they are really nice, it's just that these two colours I don't use. I kept the red one. I think the ombre lip was like really poppin' when these came out. This one is also like a similar kind of texture. This is from L'Oreal. It's called Le Matte. It's a velvety full coverage lip colour. Yeah, I guess that's what it is. And this is like a straight up Barbie kind of purple. These are from Revlon. Move It Over is a matte nude lip. And this is Blushing Mauve. 
Blushing Mauve is a great colour. It's like a mauve that has more dimension and it's very creamy. I've always loved Revlon lipsticks so I bought one more thinking that I probably will need another one but just because I have too many lippies I never end up using them. Everyone's gonna judge me because they're gonna be like, Brandon, you're so stupid. This is a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip from the collaboration with I Love Sarah II. It's 951 and it's a nude ultra satin lip. It's in a box, it's never been opened because when I was ordering off of Colourpop, I forgot to double check my order and I ended up like, because you know how you go back and forth and you're like, do I want to buy it, do I not? So I already put it in my cart. I had another tab open and I was like, fine, I'm going to get it. And then I ended up getting two and I don't even use the other one because the other one is just kind of similar to a lot of the other ones that I already have. That's the poison of Colourpop. You think you're like, oh my god, these colours, I'm going to get them all. And then you're like, wait, they all look the same on the lips. These two are lip tints like watery lip tints. I used to use these all the time and so I got backups. The ones that I'm using are already out, they're gone. They're from Yada, they're called Angel Lip Tints and I love them. They're very cute but I just don't use them anymore. This is the Stay Matte Rimmel. I got this in a party box I think. Yeah, I did it, I didn't end up using it. It's just not my colour. You know when some colours you're like, nah. This hasn't been open either. This is the Ciate liquid velvet. It's like a greyish colour and as you can tell with Beeper, with Tootsie from Colourpop, I don't like greyish. I think it makes my lips look very sad. This is the Etude House Balm Plus Colour Tint. It's like a duo. You can either do it on the outside or the inside. I think we'll do it on the inside to make it look like rosebud lips. And then I have two lip pencils. This is Soft Touch. Again, I bought it accidentally, again, very smooth and they're very nice and they're very pretty. They're very easy to apply also and then I just accidentally bought two of the soft browns. Soft browns are great! And this is the NYX lip liner pencil in pale pink. Why? I never wear pale pink. Last but not least, I have a tray that's... I don't know why I didn't take like two by two, it's very annoying. I basically have these um, handmade eyelashes. This was in my like super affordable Shopee Beauty Tools kind of haul. I prefer the invisible bands. These ones with the black bands, I don't prefer as much and so I'm just kind of passing them on to someone who would enjoy them more. The final makeup products I have are just brushes that I never ended up using. I basically have these like toothbrush looking brushes. A lot of people ask me where I got these from and I actually got these from Taobao. So I decided to buy the entire range but I ended up not using the eye ones at all. It's very strange, like how, how do you use it? I don't know. This one they had a lot of the same sizes and so I kept about four brushes. Oh this one came out of its packaging. But this is the one I got from Look Fantastic, the double ended one. Fan brushes, eye brushes, that kind of thing. Getting into skincare. Skincare, I got quite a lot of stuff, okay? It's uh, pretty intense. A lot of these things I either receive or I buy for a review and then after that, if I'm kind of even meh about them, I move on. So these items are in no way bad or defective. I just need to move them along so that I can review other things for y'all, so that I can try new things and so that these things don't expire in my bathroom. So this is the Green Tea Morning Cleanser. I actually reviewed this, this one also. I kind of had a very meh impression of it because I never ever used it. Like it's not part of my skin routine. It's a 3 minute green tea skin pack so it's kind of like a toner and an essence on pads but it's kind of like a mask. I didn't miss it when I stopped using it so I just am gonna pass it along. And oh god, okay, this one breaks my heart a little bit. These two are from Kose and I bought these because I had the green uh, Junki Sui cleanser that I like swore by. But I stopped using it because I was trying other cleansers and then I just, like for some reason that cleanser is really good but these two, I don't know, I don't really feel a difference. And the moisturizer is a little bit too light and too watery on me so I was like meh. And I don't want them to expire and like no one use them so it's kind of sad. Speaking of no one using Using them. These two SK2 products. This is the Facial Treatment Gentle Cleanser. Also kind of meh. It's very similar to how creamy and like rich the Kose one was and I think that's why I liked it for a while but I prefer gel cleansers now because I think they're a lot more gentle. And this 
is the facial treatment essence. This bottle is still sealed. Some people are gonna think I'm crazy, but I already have one in my vanity. And I have another like limited edition one that I'm still keeping around as a backup. So there's no reason for me to keep a third big one around. These are from the Waso Shiseido line. These things I actually got in the PR package because I went for their launch. This is a soft and cushy polisher. It's like an exfoliant. And then this is a fresh jelly lotion. They call this like a skin softener so it's improving your texture and it's like toning and all of that but I just I never use this like as you can tell I never never use this and then with physical exfoliants I just feel like my skin cannot take it like my skin is too sensitive speaking of this is the sand and sky Australian pink clay flash perfection exfoliating treatment at first when I used it I liked it and I used enough of it and I do notice a difference in my skin like it was very bright and glowy and cute but at the same time I was very 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 afraid of like rubbing my face. It was just like a scary feeling. I think I just am scared of physical exfoliants. This is the Murad Clarifying Toner. I feel so bad. This was a lot of money. <laughs> I was trying to clear my acne. I was kind of on a roll and I was like being a little bit desperate and I heard a lot of good things about Murad. At some point, Graveyard Girl kept mentioning it back when she was still relevant and I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this Murad. What is this? And I don't know, like it's, I think it's a bit too harsh for my skin. I'm always scared of it. Oh, this one I love. Okay, this is the L'Oreal Micronized Centella Essence Water. I love, 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 love this. I think they had a launch and then they had a relaunch, so they sent me like two. And I'm using my first one and I'm down to here and I use it almost every single day. And it's just amazing. Like I really, really love it. It's just that I don't need a second one, so. Oh my god, do I need a second one? Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Whoever gets it. I hope you will enjoy it too. The next few items are gonna be clay masks. I got this on iHerb and you know how you have to spend like $50 or something to get free shipping and so I would always go nuts and I would always buy extra stuff that I need. I think I've only used it once the whole time. It's like for most skin types, it's good. The next thing is the Dot Free AHA and GHA Soul Peeling Clay and this was in one of the Japanese beauty boxes that I kind of reviewed. I would wait 40 minutes for this and it would still be be wet. So either I'm putting too thick a layer on or it's just not meant for peeling even though it says peeling clay but I just don't understand it and I have a bunch of other peeling clay masks that actually peel off so I just am gonna give this away. It's been it's been a good time. I can't believe I brought this all the way back. It's a waste of my luggage space. This is the Liza Vika um, Milky Piggy Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask. I thought it would be fun to make a video with it but it's so messy. The clay foam just kind of gets everywhere. It just kind of gets on my towels, on my clothes, on like... I might be a messy person, so it's just not for me. <laughs> this is the Carbon Cocoa Natural Teeth Whitening. This was all up in everyone's Instagram ads. It was like, you know, it was one of those like viral insta stuff. I was paid to do a review and then I didn't like it and so I just didn't want to review it. No one tells you about this but when you spit this out after like cleansing, it stains every part of your sink and it's not something you can run your water over. You have to physically wipe it down every single time and it's just like so irritating. It's so, it gets so messy. Anyone can have it. It's it's your sis. Take it away. Moving on, I also did a review on this. This is the Dr. Belma um, Calamine Tone Up Cushion. I'm pretty sure I'm actually out of everything except for the serum and this. The serum I'm almost done as well. I'm just gonna use that up. But this one, I just never reach for it. This is the Cordelli Resveratrol Firming Serum. That was a mouthful to say. This was sent to me I'm still not into firming yet. This is the AC Cleanup Pink Powder Spot. Literally never opened this. I only took out the packaging because it was very bulky. And this is the L'Oreal Youth Coat Skin Activating Firm and Eye Essence. Because I only use eye cream at night, I want something that's more emollient, more creamy and thicker so that I can really hydrate under my eyes and I feel like this doesn't do that. Oh, I feel so sad. I, I really tried to love it and tried to work with it but I really think I might be allergic to it. So this is the Grow Gorgeous Hair Grow Serum. It smells so good. It, like, this is the one that smells like a handsome man. I'm just gonna pass this along so that someone else can smell this handsome man. <laughs> Okay, so now I have a cardboard box full of clothes. I just a bunch of stuff that I added to the thingy, but most of the stuff you can actually see in the wardrobe declutter. This is just a top. 
I really wanted something like this that had the open back, but I just never wear it. This was from Zalora. This is from the most recent haul that I said I just wasn't into because the material is too light. You can take the time to iron it if you want, but I just don't have time for it because this stays folded and this has like the knots and everything. It's like a linen grayish color. These are also basics that I'm pretty sure I got off of Taobao. They're cute, but I just, yeah, never reach for them. They're off the shoulder, in white and in grey. And this is exciting, I got this in Bangkok. This was a top that I specifically got for clubbing in case I ever went to club because the first time I bought this I was like 19 or 18 and I didn't really go clubbing but the times I went I found that I didn't really have appropriate clubbing clothes. How ironic. It's mesh but it's not like super meshy mesh and it's white and it's cute. And I really do like this top, but I never ever wear it. Speaking of not my style, I've only worn this once. This is a ribbed halter, and then it has a tie-up lace back. So this is the detail in the back, it just kind of laces up. And you can tuck it in, I tucked it into like skinny jeans. These are black shorts, just never worn these. Where are these from? These are from H&M. This is a top from Factory. It's cute, it's like light crochet kind of thing. This is a bodysuit with long sleeve and it's completely backless. A lot of these things are objectively very beautiful but they're just not my style anymore. Like like this one for example. With the cute little like buttons and everything. I know I got this pretty recently but when I wore it, I just didn't feel like me. This is another like basic shirt. This is from H&M. I was kind of like ambivalent on this but I decided to let go of it. It has these cute long sleeves. This one I just feel bad for because I got this and I never, never, ever wore it. It's actually a really nice quality. This is the white bougie off the shoulder top that I was referring to during the wardrobe declutter when I had the black one and I was like, I'm gonna keep this one because I'm already getting rid of the white. This is what it looks like. And then this is the, oh my god, my dog bit me skirt. <laughs> This is an A-line skirt. It's actually a pair of shorts, but it looks like a skirt. And then a flannel. I'm going through this really fast because you already saw this on my wardrobe declutter. This sequin cardigan. This is a yellow like picnic jacket kind of print. The midriff, like it's so cropped that it crops right underneath your boobs, like your underneath your bra line. Even when I was in Phuket on a holiday, I still felt really conscious wearing it. So I'm just gonna have to give this up. I'm just gonna have to find it a new home. This is the hoodie that everyone kind of loved at the wardrobe declutter. So I'm just gonna pass this on because I think more people will get excited about it than I am about it. White and navy romper. Also very cute. And finally, the white pleated dress that y'all saw. Ta-da! So these are some of the things that I am going to pass on to y'all. I don't know how y'all feel about the grab bags. I would never pass on anything that is like expired or disgusting or too used to y'all. So let me know how y'all feel. I do hope that you guys will like it. I'm sorry if you hear the drilling. I'm gonna end this video now. I might be adding new stuff into this because I'm constantly like seeing stuff that I don't use anymore and I feel like it's better if I pass it on. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, notifications, all that kind of thing. And I'm gonna end it right now because it's getting so loud. I think it's fumigation. So I'm just, I'm gonna go, bye.